Hello, uh, this is Jacob. Uh, today in this video, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to run Olama on Kaggle free GPUs. So in case you guys have not heard Olama, so Olama is a uh, platform or it's a framework that allows um, people to run open source large language models. Um, it's completely free. You can get it from Olama uh, GitHub repo. So currently Olama supports uh, Facebook Llama 3 and Llama 3 uh, 70B supports uh, Fi3 from Microsoft and uh, Mistral from Mistral AI. There's a lot of models you can choose from. So I'm going to show you guys in a minute how to run Olama on uh, Kegel's 3 GPU instead of uh, on your local machine or a expensive GPU box. So uh, let's go to Kegel.com. If you don't have an account, just register an account. On uh, it's free to register and then you can go to uh, their code session and then create a notebook which is like a Jupyter notebook um, so let's say uh, create a sample uh, notebook to show you guys how to run Olama as a backend process and uh, so that you can talk to uh, it uh, and then to retrieve that um, uh, result similar to uh, the chat GVD response so now let's get started. So first, uh, you do have to import the OS library, and then um, to change to uh, uh, so basic Kaggle working is a different library. You can change to a different uh, location, as my last video shows you. Uh, so you can change to Kaggle temporary. So which means that you can get uh, 70 gigs uh, free storage, but not persistent storage. So if you want persistent storage, you can go to the Kaggle working directory, which is the default uh, location. Uh, and then we create a process, uh, basically run a function to actually allow to run commands uh, on Kaggle notebooks. It's a general uh, uh, Python function. And now in the command um, here, uh, you can actually specify how to want to run. Uh, for this example, you can just uh, copy and paste the uh, default Llama uh, Llama installation script, uh, and then just uh, run that. So you'll install Llama on your notebook, um, and, and then you can make it as a backend process. This is very important because if you do not make it as a, as a backend process, uh, it will uh, get blocked. So it won't actually run um, request against the server. So make sure that you do uh, run a OSS uh, so you can uh, run a Llama serve and backend. So when you see uh, the Olama test, we'll show you guys uh, in a bit. So you will see that actually passed uh, this line. So it will output uh, Olama test. And then lastly, we'll uh, just uh, pull that uh, Llama 3 uh, model. So if you can pull any model you want, uh, as we saw here. And uh, so for example, we can do Llama 3, uh, V3, we can do Mistral, and all the other uh, models specified in here. Uh, because um, Kaggle have 20 gigs of persistent storage and 70 gigs of uh, non-persistent storage, you literally can run any models in here. Um, and also, um, because of the uh, GPU capability of Kaggle, uh, you can actually switch to a GPU T4, GPU Tesla T4, uh, or to a GPU, which is not. So you can compare the difference at the same time as well. Um, so let's go ahead and run those notebook and see how that works. So first, uh, let's start the notebook. Uh, so it's yellow and then when it turns to green, meaning uh, the Jupyter notebook is ready. Let's just wait for a bit. Okay, so now uh, the server is ready, the notebook server. Then you can click, uh, make sure, also make sure that we have accelerator as GPU. Uh, just click. So, okay, the first line, the, uh, the first section ran and it showed we are actually in the default working directory. And then um, run the second section. So now you can see it's actually downloading Llama to your notebook server. And then you see that Llama test has run. So basically, the Llama serve is run at the back end. 
so you can see it is actually uh, up and running. So now let's test. Uh, let's say we create 10 sentences that ends with Apple uh, using the Llama 3 model in Olama. Let's just click around. You'll see that's actually start downloading the model. So it takes some time to, well, but it's quick uh, because it's actually on large memory, large disk, disk space, and also um, it's on GPU. So it should be fairly quick. Okay, um, the download is completed, so it starts to uh, respond to the request. So you can see there are 10 uh, sentences, uh, 10 answers that has been recorded and that ends with Apple, even though some of them are not end with Apple, but that's the issue for the model. So this video is really to show you guys how to run Olama on Kaggle. So yeah, I think that's it. So if you want to try uh, a uh, service version which is to get response from a restful service you can try to uh, use the uh, endpoint olamas endpoint like uh, the curl endpoint you can actually because olam is running on 11 11 434 you can just uh, test that endpoint using the model is llama 3 and uh, streaming equals to false and then you can say okay the rows of user and content is create 10 sentences that ends with Apple. So then uh, you got the response from uh, Olama. So let's run that again. So let's don't, we don't have to pull that again. Let's run the command. Okay, there we go. So we actually get response from the Olama server uh, using the uh, service endpoint. So okay, uh, that's about it. That's the video. Hopefully this helps you guys to uh, Wrong Olama on Kegel's notebook uh, using free GPUs. So if you want to switch to CPU, you can just uh, change it to none. Then it will start another session. Um, it will run using GP uh, CPUs, but it's a lot slower. So yeah, that's it. And thanks you. Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, click and subscribe. And see you on the next one.